Hey everybody. Here we have a Magic Jack Plus. Now before you start thinking, ooh, Nick finally upgraded from the Magic Jack to the Magic Jack Plus. That's actually not the case. This Magic Jack Plus is actually used. It got fried by lightning. And the owner got a replacement, and this is his old device. This is the Magic Jack Plus. This is the power adapter. And what I'll be doing in this video is I'll be cracking open this Mad Jack Plus to show what it looks like inside. So before, just fair to let you know, but I don't actually use Mad Jack Plus just yet. So please do not ask me any questions about how it's doing or anything like that. I can give you some basic information because our neighbors do have Mad Jack Plus. I still have a little less than four months left of Mad Magic Jack service before I can upgrade to the Plus. So that's why I don't have one yet. But I am planning on getting getting one this December. So anyways, this is what the Mad Jack Plus looks like. If you don't already know the Mad Jack Plus, you have the option to use it with or without the computer. And on this side you have of course where your telephone hooks up and you have your Ethernet plug here. So you can use it without the computer. And basically how it works is if you want to use it with the computer, you plug it into the computer's USB port, let's say it's a laptop, you plug it in plug in your telephone line and just like a regular Mad Jack. Let's say if you want to use it without the computer, you plug this adapter into it or use the extension cord it comes with. Plug it in, plug this into a surge protector, which I recommend a surge protector, not straight into the wall. That's actually how this device got fried because it wasn't actually plugged into a surge protector. But anyways, you plug this into a power source, plug in the Ethernet cable and plug that cable into your router or switch and you have um, bondage like telephone service for only twenty nine ninety five a year. So let's go ahead and crack it up and see what it looks like inside. Of course this is the back of it. What it looks like. It tells you you can plug directly into a USB port to use with the computer. And tells you how to do with that the computer. Tells you where you plug your phone jack in, that sort of stuff. Okay, before I actually open the Mad Jack Plus, this is a regular Mad Jack, and just to show you the comparison between the two and what they look like. The Magic Jack Plus is a little bit thicker than the Magic Jack, and is a slight bit wider. I tell you, it's, re it's really amazing how they can cram all the needed hardware into Magic Jack Plus to make it do what it does. I mean, the Magic Jack is pretty simple. You have some flash memory on here that acts like a CD or ROM device when plugged into the computer. And you have the hardware that is basically like an audio device that um, adapts your telephone to where it can be used as an audio device on the computer for recording and output audio on your handset. And of course, it has the hardware to be able to interpret um, touch tone dialing, that sort of stuff. And it's it's neat how they can cram that into regular Magic Jack, but the Magic Jack Plus has this plus the additional needed hardware to run without a computer. Of course, like I say, Magic Jack itself needs a host, which is your computer. This can do everything on its own or use the computer as a host. Anyways, in, in terms of Magic Jack Plus, um, this one here, like I say, it got hit by lightning. And also, the wiring in the house it was plugged up to got hit by lightning because the owner got a new Mad Jack Plus and still had some problems with getting the phone to ring in his house. But he could plug this one telephone into Strange Mad Jack Plus and it worked just fine. However, we did test the old, this Mad Jack Plus here with a standard telephone by itself and it was still not working, so we knew it got damaged. But the thing is, you could plug it into the computer. Mad Jack software would load up and you can make calls from the computer because, of course, the Mad Jack software runs just through the computer, doesn't even need the hardware inside this. But when you plug up a telephone, try to make calls, plug into the computer or without the computer, you could hear a very faint dial tone. And you could try to dial telephone numbers, but it, um, you just keep hearing a dial tone and wasn't accepting the um, phone numbers. So, anyways, it's going to crack up and have a look inside. Okay, this is what the Magic Plus looks like disassembled, and 
the USB plug got a little wrecked when I was taking it apart because this thing is pretty tough to get into. I noticed one thing right away is the upper cover. This right here is actually it actually snaps in. But it's actually like glued in. So if you got real optimistic and if you wanted to, you could take this out. You could pry it out the screwdriver and put some clear something here to make it look kind of like the standard Mad Jack in a way. But of course, if you tear this up, uh, Mad Jack's not going to warrant it. You'd have to get a replacement for 40 bucks. Like I say, this Mad Jack Plus is fried. It's not mine. It's fine. I don't physically see any damage, but when you, like I was saying, there is stuff wrong with it. But this is what the board, this is what the PCB looks like inside of Magic Plus. This is the back side of the PCB. This is where your Ethernet and telephone goes plugged in. And let you have a close look here. And I mean, this thing is crammed full of components. This right here is the Ethernet controller. You can see this chip here. I commonly see these on um, Ethernet cards and computers. And I believe this right here is our main CPU. The model information on it is, it's hard to see with the camera. It is Tiger 880A and it has www.tjnet.com on the chip. It says P8, no hang on, yeah, P8WF9-010 and another set of numbers under it is one 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 zero. Get the focus back so you can kind of see that. It's really hard to see. Try zooming in, might you might be able to see it better that way. And you can see it a lot better now. Get a real good close up of this thing. They got some diodes here, some resistors, some choke, capacitor. These components are highly similar to Matt to the Magic Jack. Here are some LEDs, surface mount LED lights that come on when this thing is plugged in. And excuse for the shakiness. This appears to be to what might be an optocoupler, not sure. This little thing here looks similar to an optocoupler inside a switching power supply. And then here is our telephone cord hookup plug. Back to the other side again, let you get a closer look. So you can see these markings E2392018 K 3. It's got a UL marking right here. I believe this here is probably the UL number on the database. See what well, it just amazes me that they could cram this much hardware inside this little bitty package to do what? Do the same thing that Vonage does just for much cheaper. And it's really fun to note that um since my dad still has Time Warner Cable Digital Phone, the cable modem is like extremely huge. 
Yeah, it's funny that this Magic Plus device can do the same thing as that big old modem. But in such a itty bitty little package. I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out. I say it's pretty neat. What do you think? Now, of course, I'm not going to tear apart the power adapter because I do have plans on making this a spare. And it's good. Also, it's also good for plugging in USB devices to charge them, that kind of stuff. And not a bad little power supply, at least what it says on its ratings. It's rated for 5 volts, 1 amp. Get a close look at that power supply. You see the UL numbers E34. One zero seven five. This camera does a really good job at focusing in when zoomed in. I can I can barely see that print with my eyes right now looking at this thing, but I can see it in the view screen. It appears to say IT power supply, something like that. I'll see it better when I look up on the computer. It tells you it says AC adapter K eleven zero three. Input full range 100 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, 0.2 amps. And it can do out. It can do 5 volts at 1 amp. So, same about that, guys. The Magic Jack itself plugged into a USB port in the computer only gets 500 milliamps. That's the maximum USB port in the computer can supply. But this here can do 1 amp. So the Magic Jack Plus thing about it is is more capable of running probably more telephones hooked to the line. Than the standard Magic Jack can do. My Magic Jack has three telephones. If you can, if you count the computer's modem as a telephone, because really it is. So I got the computer modem, a corded AT&T phone, and a Uniden Deck 1560 cordless Deck 610 phone. So that's three phones on my Magic Jack. Well, anyways, um, I figured it'd be pretty cool since I haven't seen any videos on YouTube yet of. Mad Jack Plus autopsies, and since I got this one here pretty much for free because it, cause it was um, fried, I figured why not? So anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask.